Hello, my fellow adventurers! This is Malucha, and welcome back to New World. In this episode, we are gonna go over the new PvP track and do new list that I'm at right now, and that is 106 to 110. For 106 checkpoint one, we find a medium ruby potion pack tier five, a large Judah potion pack tier four, and a small ruby potion pack tier five. Yeah, there's nothing really to find interesting in these. There's probably some some items in here for crafters that like, oh, yeah, take that one, take that one. I I'm I don't really craft guys, so the tonics are probably probably good. I think. I have no idea. I'm not going to pick anything out of checkpoint one. Checkpoint two, we got two vials of azot salt, so 2,000 azot salt uh, for 500 azot salt is always a really good deal, guys. I um, I recently had to spend some azot, so I was really happy that uh, from time to time I actually picked these up so I could actually increase my azot salt and be able to buy. Now that's like the umbral shards actually went from what was 9,000 to 10,000 and... Yeah, emotes are pretty expensive, named items are pretty expensive, so uh, definitely easy to get, grab some of these. We got the Exhilarated Conscript Blunder Plus of the Soldier Strength with Vicious and Exhausting Netshot. I see a lot of Blunder Buses with Exhausting Netshot recently in OPR, and they are really tricky to play with. Uh, the Exhaust, reducing target stamina regeneration by 55% for 8 seconds. It is, it is, it, it will put you in your place and almost not able to move or at least run uh, for a, quite a distance actually or quite a while. Eight seconds is quite a while. So it's actually not too bad if you don't have a blunderbuss yet and you kind of want to pick some up. Uh, pretty cheap. Uh, well, basically you don't have to pay anything for it. You just have to play the game. Uh, then this is a pretty good one. Critical damage is good as well. Uh, but yeah, you want to go for those three perks, guys. But Still a really good blunderbuss. And we got a small pile of coins. 1,062 as I have 80 vials of azot salt left. I'm going to go with the pile of coins for this one. We got checkpoint 3. The Vengeful Conscript Greatsword of the Ranged Dexterity with Keen and Thwarting Strikes. Deal 11% additional damage while you have active crits. Now we did pick up a greatsword from our quest that we did a while back. One of the Brimstone Sands quests. And that was actually a dexterity great sword as well, with really good perks, but it had like corrupted on it. I think it was corrupted on it. So for PvP, it might not be the best. But the other other two perks were really, really great. So if you're looking for a great sword, I suggest you to just do the, that side quest. And then yeah, just leave this one like I'm gonna do myself. We got a medium a heap of faction tokens. Always really nice if you want to pick up those daily double gypsums. That you can buy from your faction tokens uh, from your faction vendor shop and then we get the sword of the champion an epic named item now i don't really think i already have this one strength flat stat so pretty good vicious 11 percent critical damage and then keenly empowered keenly, keenly empowered is always really good get gain 15 percent empower for five seconds so i don't think we have this one already i'm gonna i'm gonna need to check guys i got so many pieces it's gonna be hard to find it in there oh i can look at name right oh i'm such an idiot i'm such an idiot uh character sword of the champion so if we just go to any of the yeah and then just press uh the the sword bloodsucker sword of the champ 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 i cannot not write my grab use your both your hands champion yeah i don't think i have this one yet all right so let's pick it up sort of a champion by now and i am gonna need to head into the city because i don't think i have azot on me or shards on me to actually check out what that third ability is all right only five that we need to use so 110 110 150 to get it to 600 let's upgrade and see what we get we are getting penetrating backstab pvp only backstab penetrates 27 percent of a player's armor actually a pretty good perk uh so for a pvp weapon this would actually be pretty good 15 percent in power that you get uh penetrating backstab so 
yeah that's actually that's actually pretty pretty good definitely gonna keep this one here we go completed 106 onto 107 for track 107 we see a repeat of track 106 apparently so yeah let's go over all of them Check number one, large bundle of coins, 1006.25. We got a medium card Togo potion pack tier five. And a prestigious solemnized as boot of the century constitution with freedom and resilience. We've seen these boots a couple times uh, already. And freedom and resilience is a really good combination, making it, well, kind of a. You can work it into a light loadout and you can work them into a medium loadout. So it's actually pretty good for uh, pretty good boots if you don't have freedom and resilience boots yet. And are maybe too expensive on the auction house. Well, try to get these then. Uh, of course, I'm going to go for a large bundle of coins on this one. We got a small card Togo potion pack tier 5. A large pile of faction token 6,500. And a large brown potion pack tier 4. So, yeah. Uh, faction tokens for me. And then we see the repeat sort of the champion. I do believe this was actually in track 106. As well, strength with vicious and keenly empowered, and I think it was backstab that was on it. We'll check it out in a second. Uh, when we check my vault, we got two vials of azot salt, so 2000 azot salt for 500, always a pretty good deal. And a large heap of coins, 1750. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Give me that money, baby. All right, 107 complete, pretty fast track, if you tell me. And if we would go to where is my strength morning rise. Like, it's the last sword I put in here. So I presume it's from the PvP track, and I don't think I have got it anywhere else. So penetrating backstab PvP only with Vicious and Killing Apart. Like I said uh, in the previous episode, it's a really good sword, to actually. Well, it's it's not... I don't think it's Biss, but it's it's a pretty good sword. Yeah, there we go. One named item, uh, repeatable. Let's go for 108. No named items as far as I can see in track 108. So checkpoint one, large bundle of coins, 1006.25, small brown potion pack tier four, and a medium astro potion pack tier five. I'm gonna go for the coins, of course. Checkpoint two, we got a small pile of faction tokens, 4,500, a large ruby potion pack tier five, and small pile of coin again. Uh, this time, yeah, bundle and coin, it's like 60, 60 difference or something like that. So really strange that they kind of call it and do two different means. But yeah, I'm going to go for the coin. And then checkpoint three, we got prestigious Solomator. Solomizer's breast guard of the century constitution with resilient and a lasting reign of R of arrows. Now it is a constitution piece and it is a medium chest wear. So for a light loadout, you can basically go for medium pants or medium chests and still get uh, a medium uh, build, a uh, light build, I mean. But... I, I, if you go for a dick, well, rain of arrow, rain of uh, uh, lasting rain of arrows is actually for a bow build. So if you usually you would go for like almost all resilience and uh, almost all like, dexterity pieces, and even if you would go for constitution, it would be like dexterity constitution and not constitution single uh, single stat. So it can work, but it's not the best and most viable option out there. Uh, we got three vials of Azot Salt, always really interesting and most likely I will go for this one. And then we got the Scheming Conscript, Ice Gauntlet of the Scholar Intelligence with Keen and Vicious. Now, uh, a lot of a lot of the weapon perks on the weapon talents, uh, I should say, actually give a lot of increased critical chance already. You can also get it on different items. So getting the critical chance is mostly not benefit this is something i learned only recently as well it's like something you don't actually want on weapons you kind of vicious is always pretty good because it's a stable damage increase but chance is apparently not as good even though if you don't have an ice gauntlet yet and you come across this one it might be a good one to pick up first before you get like all your armor pieces up to par and then go for one that actually has a well you kind of need to go for one with a weapon talent on it uh that's kind of uh well this these days uh, after the patch when weapon talents on uh, the weapons itself actually gave increased potential then well yeah it's kind of logical that you would go for them right so like i said i'm gonna go for the three vials of azot salt and there we go 108 complete and it seems i've got the first track of 109 already complete as well
track of 109 we've got checkpoint one prestigious idolators shoes of the soldiers strength with shuriken fortification and resilient i do believe shuriken fortification is getting uh, a kind of a nerf i'm not really sure when but i heard some say that it was getting a nerf a little bit but still pretty good piece of boots they are light footwear so they work for a medium well they can work for a medium build but kind of want to go for medium boots and a couple heavy pieces there uh, but they definitely work for a light loaded. And if you want to go like sword and shield, you kind of need like all pieces of light gear to actually make these shields uh, equipable. Equip equipable? Well, you can equip it, but then you go into medium if you don't have all light gear. So still pretty good choose. Large bundle of faction tokens, 4,400. And a medium astra potion pack tier 5. I'm going to go for the... I, I, I think I'm capped at my faction tokens right now. So I should actually go to the city and buy some gypsum before I actually pick this one. We got a large brown potion pack tier 4 in checkpoint 2. Uh, the champion's amulet constitution with stamina, recovery and health. I think we already picked one up like this a while back. But I'm going to have to check before I pick this one up. And we got a small pile of coins, 1062.50. Always nice. We got a gypsum orb for 12,000. And the solemnizer's headdress of the scholar intellect with elemental aversion and refreshing. So this would work for starter uh, dungeons. For PvP. Yeah, it could work. Medium headwear kind of still works for a light loadout. Uh, for PvP as well. Elemental aversion is not bad either. And refreshing is always good, right? And we got the Vengeful Conscript, Life Staff of the Sage, focused with Keen and Blessed. So, yeah, there's been some trolling going around, making a Life Staff damage build. Uh, so, there's Retaliate on here as well. Retaliate game 15% damage for 2 seconds after taking a hit. So, it, it might work, but still Keen on a Life Staff, which is meant for healing. I would not pick it up, guys. I'm gonna go quickly back to the city, actually, to buy some buy some uh, gypsums and then uh, check out if we actually have the champion's amulet because i'm basically here farming for my daily chips and my obsidian chips and so let's go recall to house yeah and let's go check everything out so the earrings i was thinking about well the, it, it was a ring right uh we've got the earrings uh a while back i think champion's earrings and this time it's a champion amulet so it is something different so large bundle let's buy this one champion amulet bites by this one so we can actually check it out and oh yeah i can i can afford it so there we go 109 complete let's open our inventory go to valor hold where i hold all of my resources well the most important resources at least uh, for now and upgrades to 600 let's see what the third perk is gonna be so it is a named legendary uh it's got stamina recovery health and shuriken empower pvp only after successfully dodging an attack obtain empower increases damage dealt by four percent for 10 seconds duration refreshes when new stack is applied stacks a four time so it's four times four percent meaning you can get what 16 percent damage increase every time you dodge an attack but it has stamina recovery and health i'm kind of wondering if this would work for a sword and shield build but then like a heavy set sword and shield for pvp it's definitely an interesting piece definitely gonna lock this one down and i'll find a use for it someday later let's move this here valor hold no last stand and let's move this one in here Another piece to actually try to make some sets work, right? And there we go. One nine completes on to farm for one potent. And for the last track of this episode, track 110, we've got checkpoint one small superus potion pack tier five. We got a medium ruby potion pack tier five. And we got the prestigious solemnizers, the boots of the soldiers. Resilient with repulsing stopping power, which is kind of a dexterity um, dexterity perk, right? Because it's for muskets on strength. So yeah, definitely wouldn't pick those up. We got two vials of azot salt. Always interesting, of course. 2,000 azot salt for 500. So cheap deal. We got the enchanted tides. This is a, an epic named or a legendary named item. 
We've seen return a couple times and it's actually a really good pick. Because uh, it's constitution and it's light, you can work it into all different types of builds. So definitely really good if you haven't picked this one up. I'll show you in a second what the Turk perk is. We got a gypsum orb for 12,000, so really, really expensive. Uh, seeing as we only get 400 umbral shards from this. <laughs> and you already see where I'm going with this, right? Uh, checkpoint 3, we got the Idolator's Cow of the Sage, Shuriken Fortification, and Shuriken Heals on a Focus a Light Headwear. So actually a pretty good uh, piece of gear. We got the Rally and Conscripts, Lifestaff of the Sage with Focus, a Vicious and Plagued Crits now. Lifestaff doesn't have any... Well, you can have crits on it, so I want I wanted to say like you don't have any plague abilities on it, but it's plague crits, so crits against the target. But you don't do a lot of crits, I find, with life staff. You do a couple here and there, but not a lot. Um, so definitely would not pick this one up. And then umbral shards, uh, yeah, 1500 for a thousand, for 10,000, while we get 400 for 12,000 here. So. Again, developers, if you ever see one of my videos where I talk about this, this needs to change. This needs to, This does not need an increase. Uh, let me make this clear. Like, the 15,000 for 10,000 is a good price. But 500 umbral shards or 400 umbral shards, if you actually use it on a 625 piece of gear or 625... Um, well, yeah, you guys know what I'm saying. So, Umbral Shards definitely gonna go for these. Vals of Azoth gonna go for these. And in the first column, I'm not gonna pick any of those. Complete the track. And yes, 110 complete. Hell yes. Let's close. And let's check out what these enchanted tides look on. Do I have them on me? No. Maybe they're in a chest. Yeah, here we go. Enchanted tides. They were in a chest uh, that I'm uh, thinking about using. Uh, so we got shuriken heals and refreshing and resilient. Like I said, pretty good piece of gear for PvP. Uh, well, because it has two PvP perks. And refreshing kind of works uh, everywhere, right? There we go. I'm going to sit my ass down like I always do and end this episode up here. No, right? I moved my <laughs> emote button to another, to another, uh, to another button. Anyway. If you want to see more of my quest progression, my let's play, or my PvP reward track progression here on New World, guys, or any other game I might play on my channel, just hit that subscribe button. It would always help out a lot. I do hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.